while Cole is expected to lead that staff as the ace of the staff. There are some other pitchers in that rotation that certainly can make a name for themselves this year. What's your level of confidence right now with Luis Severino? Do you expect that he's going to look like the Luis of the first half of 2017, or are there some concerns at what type of pitcher he is going to be this season? I don't have any concerns on, 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 on any of our starting pitchers for the, for the most part. I mean, <clears throat> you know, whether it's Garrett Cole, whether it's Luis Severino, Paxton Tanaka, if they're healthy, they're going to be very special. I mean, because they're that gifted. Um, they all can, you know, essentially be a number one that day uh, when the ball's in their hands. And uh, the only thing that's going to prevent that from happening is if, you know, health takes them offline for a period of time. So um, we're extremely confident at especially our top four. And obviously, I do think that Hap is going to even be better for us, you know, than he was in the first half of last year. I think you'll see more of the second half Hap. So we look forward to him proving that uh, with us, you know, in 2020. And it is great to have you back with us here at Yankee Stadium for a final edition of Hot Stove this offseason. And as we continue, it's good to hear from Brian Cashman about a variety of subjects. And Jack Meredith doing that interview. Meredith, what was one of the things, the biggest things that jumped out to uh, at you? Well, he was talking a little bit about the pitching staff, whether it be how Garrett Cole is going to fit in or Luis Severino. I actually asked him, is there any type of a competition right now for that fifth starter spot or does it go to Jay Happ? And he said Jay Happ will be our fifth starter as you heard him say they believe that there's a lot more in the tank that he's going to be more the pitcher you saw towards the end of the season as opposed to the one that struggled at points in time during the rest of the season so that kind of stuck out to me there are some young arms that they're certainly keeping an eye on you wonder if some of those guys could wind up in the bullpen but for now their rotation is set jack yeah their rotation is set one through five especially since he did say hap has that number five spot i think it was clear cashman wanted to push the focus on to 2020 but i I do think we have to remark that he was disappointed, very disappointed in what happened with the Astros. And he talked about the what might have been and how you look back and wonder what could have happened for you. But then he also said, there's nothing you can do about that. Whatever happened on an uneven playing field, you have to go forward in 2020 and try and focus on winning a World Series title now. When you heard him talk about the Houston situation, it, there was almost a level of frustration there that it's been going on for a while and we were trying to combat it. But the one thing that I took away from your interview with Brian, Miguel and Duhar, right? He's going to maybe play the outfield, maybe play first base. But I found it interesting that he also brought up he has an option left that he can possibly go to the minor leagues. That's just a technicality. I don't think the Yankees are thinking that way, but it's interesting that that's a possibility that could happen. And Brian Cashman also spoke about how special Miguel and Duhar is offensively. They want to find a way to get that bat in the lineup.